Okay, this video is um, Everest 600 printer basics. Uh, if you happen to find yourself with an Everest printer, you don't know how to use it, um, you don't know how to change the ribbons, anything like that, this is just an overview of uh, some things you can, you can look at if you're having issues. Um, basically, let's start with the lights. There's the button that lights up. This is the disc presence uh, light, busy light, power light. Uh, so th when a printer is idle, uh, be it an auto printer or standalone printer, you'll have these lights uh, as you see them. If this disc present uh, light is, is blinking, that's telling you there's an internal problem or the uh, printer is out of ribbon. To check on that, you open the side door here, there's two silver little buttons. Push both of these and uh, the printer opens up. It does look a little intimidating, uh, but it, it's not too bad. There's just three latches to open the whole thing up. First latch is here, which flips up. Number two flips up, and then number three just moves side to side. So this one's a little, sometimes you have to give a little bit of effort. So anyhow, with all three, uh, to change the ribbons out, the color carriage pulls all the way out, and the uh, transfer carriage just pulls out this far. Uh, we'll go into changing the ribbon uh, in another video, but this is just kind of your quick checking the, you know, the maintenance. You want to look at the ribbon, it's clear so it's hard to see, but uh, hanging underneath here, the ribbon wraps around. You make sure that this goes in and doesn't get you know, crunched up or, or, or is crinkled underneath here. Um, if, you're, if you're getting a blinking light, you can also look inside and see if there's any, um, any discs on the tray. Sometimes the printer will pick up multiple discs and they get jammed in there. So if the tray won't open and close, uh, that might be your problem. Uh, but basically, you want to make sure the ribbons are all in there tight, no wrinkles or anything, and that you have ribbon. The new uh, unused portion of color ribbon will be at the top. The unused portion of clear is, is on the left side here. You can check those just to make sure you have ribbon. Plenty of times people are just out of ribbon and don't realize it. Uh, and they think they have a major problem and it's just out of ribbon. Closing back up. Number one. Uh, one thing to, to, I wanted to point out, when you're reinstalling this um, transfer carriage, you push it and it will stop, there's a tiny bit of resistance here, you need to push a little more and get that extra click. Uh, this number two should, should close pretty easily. If you kind of have to force this number two lock down, um, usually that means that you've stopped short on pushing this in all the way and uh, that will you know, come back with, with airs. So if you close it up, See, there's no blinking light here. That tells me that I have ribbon. There's no internal problem or anything like that. Uh, one thing you can check uh, for if you're having an issue with your printer, you want to go to Windows Start, Printers and Faxes. It might be Printers and Devices if you're on Windows 7. And then uh, find your Ever 600. This one's copy one. Right click and click on Printing Preferences. And that brings up this window. Click on your utility tab and then status monitor. And that brings up yet another window, which is the Everest status monitor. So you can see in the status it says executing printer initialization. If there's a problem, it's going to tell you what the problem is there. Um, estimated prints, this is unknown just because I didn't put a brand new ribbon in. When you start with a brand new ribbon, it will reset the counts on there to, to 500 of each. Um, if you click on printer information, this is where you can adjust the color density. You want to make it darker or lighter on any of the colors. And also the alignment of the printer, this is where the artwork lands on the disc. Uh, you can click modify, and you can modify the horizontal alignment and the vertical alignment. And basically if you're getting like a white edge on the top, you can move the artwork getting, you know, either side, you can move it left to right, up and down. Uh, so that's where those adjustments are made. The main thing I wanted to just point out
from is if you know if you think you're having a problem, you can look at the status monitor. So now it says printer's idling. Uh, if I was to let's just say I'm going to unlatch number two here. It says the cover was open. I've closed it. So this is a perfect example of there's something wrong with my printer. You now the number two latch is unlatched. And the lights are blinking on this. I just had a customer with the same issue. And you can see it says retransfer heat roller release lever is out of position. So I'll open the printer. If your lever was down like that, that's how my customer's lever was. You're gonna get the same here. It's got to be locked into place. It's got to be pushed back all the way. It's locked into place. Close it up. Immediately the light goes out. And it's back to executing uh, initialization. Anytime you open that door open the latch, it's got to reinitialize. Uh, it uses up a little bit of ribbon when you do that, so don't just do that all day long. Um, so that's kind of some basics on the Everest printer. Um, the other thing you can look at on the back side of the printer, there's a little number dial here. This is going to be tough to see. Uh, this white, white dial actually has a cutout that shows numbers on it. And um, the print here is what each number is. So number one, as I know this is uh, hard, to, hard to view here. Number one is for transporter, two is auto printer, and three diagnostic. Uh, basically, depending on the uh, printer type that you have, this is set to zero, it's a standalone printer. Uh, zero is all the way on the, like the nine o'clock position. Uh, so I'm just using it as standalone. If I had this connected to an auto loader with reporters, you could set it to number one. Uh, if you had it with an auto printer or auto loader, you could set it to number two. Um, but if you're having problems and you're getting these errors and everything seems okay, uh, my recommendation is to set it to zero. So you turn it clockwise till the cutout is at the nine o'clock position. Pull the power out, okay, and then plug it back in. This puts it in auto printer mode. If you're getting errors, um, the printer memory just kind of holds on to these errors, even if you unplug it, plug it back in. But if you put it in auto printer mode, if you have an auto loader, and then you put it in stand load mode, it'll clear out a lot of these errors and does like a hard reset. Just let it warm up a little bit, and then you can unplug it, put it back to two, and it'll work with either transfer. Plug it back in, let it warm up, and then resume. That's a good way to clear out errors if you have problems. For whatever reason, if your printer is stuck, it's not responding, you can always just use your fingernail to open this door, and you can grab the tray, there's not much to grab here, see so these little enforcement figures, and just pull this out manually if you have a stuck disc or something. If this can't move, then most likely there are discs jammed in the back. Uh, that takes a little bit more effort. Sometimes discs will get caught underneath this plate here. They just kind of, you know, get get pulled off of the tray somehow. And they end up back here. There's two screws. Uh, this is a Phillips screw here, and here that you remove. And then on the inside, it's hard to see. But just just inside on the inside wall, um, there's another Phillips screw. You remove that, and this whole plate comes out. It's actually pretty straightforward, and then you see the discs underneath there. That's kind of your kind of worst case scenario as well as things that you could be able to fix in the field if you have a big jam. That's pretty much it for Everest Basics. Uh, gives you kind of a quick overview of some problems that 